Hello ladies and gentlemen, Safe House here, this time in the Brave Fox's long stop, versing Ayatar, which is the final boss for this dungeon. It's just a big ass dragon, really. I've uh, been free manning most of this dungeon, and we've just finally got a tank, because our original tank dropped out after the first mini boss. So I'll put a link in the description back to a couple of the free mans that we did before this. A couple of the mini bosses were pretty tough, so it's been interesting trying to see me trying to tank some of those mini bosses because we obviously didn't have a tank. But yeah, um, not many tricks to Aatar. His main trick is he uses a, an attack. He usually picks out a DPS or the healer, doesn't throw it on the tank. And it sort of makes a green pool on the ground which damages you if you stand in it. If he stands in it, it heals him. So really it's all about your tank being pretty clued up and getting, getting the dragon out of the, the green sludge on the ground ASAP. And it stays there, so if your DPS is too slow, eventually like your whole ground is going to be covered in it, and he is going to be healing, and you're going to be dying. As you can see, as I've been talking, he's been doing these little uh, line attacks. He does his breeze fire out. That's always on the tank, though, because it's whoever he's aggroing onto. So nothing too difficult there, except for if you're a tank, you can usually dodge that, because it's a bit of a cast time for him. He does a little bit of an AoE as well, just a bit of fire around him. You can't dodge that. You just have to cop it. Here we go now, he's just throwing that green sludge down, he's picked me to throw it onto. As you can see, it does a bit of damage, but you know, not a whole lot. You can definitely take that. So yeah, healer's just throwing a couple heals onto me, but as you can see, the, the green sludge just it stays on the ground. And you, just, you just can't have the dragon in it, because it, it will ruin your day. So, tanks, if you're not really sure if Aatar is standing in the green sludge or not, you just need to have a little glance up at the HP bar. And if it's increasing at all, it means that it's obviously in the sludge. Sometimes it's going to be tough because it doesn't look like this, you're standing in it, but he actually is regaining that health. You can usually like, DPS through the healing, but it slows down the fight a lot and gives the Aatar a chance to get that green sludge in more places. Uh, coming up, you see he casts the, uh, the green sludge attack a couple more times and we start to run out of room really quickly. But our tank is pretty good, he uh, navigates it pretty well, gets him out of it nice and quickly. Also our healer, as I mentioned before, we've uh, been doing the three mans and our healer has been amazing with those heals. She did claim that she had a uh, level 50 white mage, so she's obviously played before and uh, knows what they are doing, so that helped us out a lot. It was pretty much what allowed us to do the three mans, having such a good healer, knowing what they're doing. But yeah, so we've got Scholar Heals, I believe that is a Paladin tank, with the shield there, and I have forgotten what the other DPS is, uh, it's some sort of caster I believe. This is about when I should be thinking of using the Limit Break, but I'm a little bit slow on it and someone else takes it off me. As you, I just kind of stand there for a little bit, pressing zero, trying to, trying to get that thing, Limit Break happening, I'm trying to work out why it wasn't working, then all of a sudden the uh, media comes in from the sky, and yeah, I realise that the casters beat me to it, but that's fine, you know, I'm still, we're still in a good position anyway. He's just throwing out a few more last attacks it seems, that tank's been good dodging all those line attacks that ASR throws out. Oh, a nice crit there, I'm sure the media's coming any second, there they go. That'd take him down a fair bit lower. Obviously it would have been better if I had done it with the uh, bit more single target damage. He's almost there now, throwing out a few more stomps. Yeah, he does do that knockback too. It doesn't really do much damage or anything, but can throw you into the sludge like it did for me. And he falls down. Well, I hope this helped you out. Oh, you just enjoyed it, guys. I'll uh, see you next time. Thank you very much for watching, if this video helped you out or you just enjoyed it, please smack that like button, or you can also subscribe to my channel for more videos similar to this one. Thanks guys!